myself, Professor Sangeeta Gehlot from Department of Kriya Sharif, Faculty of Ayurved, IMS BHU. Today we will be discussing about understanding of Shat Kriya Kal. Shat Kriya Kal or the six significant stages of the disease manifestation in Ayurved provides the knowledge of how disease originates and manifests step by step. Each stage provides an opportunity to halt the possibility reverse the spread of the disease. Naturally, if the earlier a disease is detected, the easier it will be to manage it. Diagnosis in Ayurveda is not always in terms of the name of a disease but in terms of the nature or the phenomenon of the disease. This phenomenon is described in terms of the samprapti that is pathogenesis of the disease in each patient, comprising those dushya adhisthan components. The concept of Shatkirya Kal describes the mode and stage of development of disease in its own unique way. A good understanding of Kriya Kal is essential for early diagnosis and for adopting preventive and curative measures. Shat means six. Kriya Kal is made up of two words. Kriya Pratnadi Karma Chastita Machate Treatment Procedures for Dhatu Samyata and Kal means time. Acharya Charak has defined Kriya as Dhatu Samya Kriya Chokta Tantriyasya Prayojana means Kriya is to bring vitiated those Dhatus and Mal in Samya Avastha with the help of different types of drugs, Ahar and Vihar because Charak has mentioned Vikaro Dhatu Vaishyamyam Samyam Prakriti Ruchate means disease is the state of Dhatu Vashamya and Samya Vastha is considered as Nirokta or health. Here Kal means primary stage of disease process. Thus Kriya is considered as Chikitsa and Kal is considered as opportunity. Therefore Kriya Kal means opportunity or time of treatment. When those get vitiated, disease does not manifest spontaneously but it is a process of sequential development which causes disease. Sushrut has considered this as Shat Kriya Kal. Sushrut has defined Kriya as Ya Hyu Dirunam Samyati Nanya Vyadi Paroti Cha Sa Kriya Naitu Ya Vyadi Haratyanyam Udiriya. It means which specifies the increased doshas and does not cause another disease known as Chikitsa. But which does not destroy the main disease and causes another disease is not considered chikitsa. In six stages of Kriya Kal, as soon as the treatment will be started, disease will be easily treated. Sushrut in Sutra Sthan, 21st chapter, very nicely mentioned Sanchayam cha prakopam cha prasaram sthan sanchrayam vyaktim bhedam chayo vritti poshanam cha bhavet He who understands these six stages, that is Sanche, accumulation, prakop, aggravation, pressure, spreading, sthan sanchare means localization, vyakti manifestation and ved is the stage of chronicity or complication. Of the doshas can only be called as real physician. Selection of appropriate treatment and suitable drug for each stage is the work of a physician. Hence, a great emphasis has been laid on a clear understanding of these six evolutionary stages. Shatkirya Kal provides an equal chance to halt the process of disease at each of its stages. Kriya Kal is highly beneficial with respect to disease control and its prevention. Early diagnosis of diseases in its initial stage is helpful in better management. If treatment is not started at proper time, or being inadequate or in excess due to inadequate knowledge of Shat Kriya Kal results in bad prognosis of even curable disease. Sanche Chayo Vraddhi Swe Dhamnev Pradvesho Vraddhi Heteshu Vipreet Gunecha Sanche is the first stage of Kriya Kal, means accumulation of the doshas in their own sides due to various positive factors. In this stage, those accumulates but do not leave their own place and characterized by aversion towards similars and attraction towards opposite qualities of diet, drug, etc. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल वाच है हैव सिम्टम्स ऑफ अवर्जन टूवर्ड्स ड्राई एंड कोल्ड फूड सब्सटेंसेस कॉजेज ऑफ दो संचय द इच्योलॉजी ऑफ संचय कैन बी आइदर काल स्वभाव मीन्स नेचुरल और त्रिविध हेतु मीन्स थ्री कॉजेटिव फैक्टर्स दीज थ्री कॉजेटिव फैक्टर्स आर असात्मेंद्रिय संयोग दैट इज इम प्रॉपर यूज ऑफ सेंसरी ऑर्गन प्रज्ञापराध इंटेलेक्चुअल एरर एंड परिणाम मीन्स काल विच इंक्लूड सीजनल चेंजेस डे नाइट चेंजेस एंड चेंजेस इन फूड एंड रेजिम मे ऑल्सो इंक्लूड द जेनेटिक प्री डिस्पोजिंग फैक्टर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ डायबिटीज मेलेटस देर फोर डिस्टर्बेंस कैन बी ओवरकम थ्रू सुटेबल डाइट एंड लाइफ स्टाइल अल्टरेशन एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ दोष ऑल्सो अकर्स इन अकॉर्डिंग टू टाइमिंग ऑफ मील फेज डे नाइट एंड सीजन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वाट डोमिनेंस टेक्स प्लेस इन ओल्ड एज वाइल कफ डोमिनेंस टेक्स प्लेस इन चाइल्ड हुड एंड इफ वी डिस्कस द संचय प्रकोप एंड प्रेशर इन डिफरेंट सीजन संचय ऑफ वाट टेक्स प्लेस इन ग्रीष्म ऋतु वाइल प्रकोप इन वर्षा ऋतु एंड प्रशमन इन शरद ऋतु कफ संचय टेक्स प्लेस इन शिशिर दैट इज लेट विंटर प्रकोप इन प्रकोप इन बसंत ऋतु एंड प्रशमन इन ग्रीष्म ऋतु दैट इज समर सीजन फीचर्स मैनिफेस्टेड ड्यूरिंग संचय अवस्था तत्र संचिता नाम खलु दोषाण स्तब्धपूर्ण कोष्ठता पिता वास्ता मंदोष्मता चांगा नाम गौरवमालस्यम च कारण विद्वेश चयती लिंगानी भवंती तत्र प्रथम क्रियाकाल दिस स्टेज कैन बी डायग्नोस्ड इजीली बेस्ड ऑन स्पेसिफिक सिम्टम्स लाइक एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ बात काजेस स्तब्धपूर्ण कोष्ठता मीन्स स्टिफनेस एंड फुलनेस ऑफ एबडोमन वाइल पित्त संचय रिजल्ट इन पिता वास्ता मीन्स ये लोइज डिस्कलरेशन मंदोष्मता दैट इज लो बॉडी टेम्परेचर और लो डाइजेस्टिव पावर एंड कफ एक्यूमुलेशन लीड्स टू अंगा नाम गौरव मीन्स हैवीनेस ऑफ द बॉडी पार्ट्स एंड अलस्य मीन्स लेजीनेस प्रकोप द स्टेज ऑफ एग्रवेशन इन प्रकोप और एग्रवेशन स्टेज द एक्यूमुलेशन स्टेज हैज परसिस्टेड फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम एंड द रेस्पॉन्सिबल फैक्टर्स हैव बीन कंटिन्यूसली प्रेजेंट कोपस्तन और मार्ग गामिता लिंगा नाम दर्शनम शेषाम स्वास्थ्यम रोग संभव है दिस स्टेज इज डेवलप्ड ड्यू टू कंटिन्यूस इनटेक ऑफ इम प्रॉपर आहार विहार एंड औषध दिस स्टेज अपर्स वाइल द दोष आर रेडी टू मूव फ्रॉम देयर ओन प्लेस टू अनदर बिकम्स ओन मार्गामी एंड मैनिफेस्ट द फीचर्स ऑफ इंडिविजुअल दोष विच इंडिकेट्स द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ द कॉजेशन ऑफ डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ हेल्थ आचार्य डलहन हैज मैंशन प्रकोपा अवस्था एज एक्सटेंडेड स्टेट ऑफ चय अवस्था इन विच दोषाज आर इन लिक्विड और गैसेज फॉर्म्स विच हैज एबिलिटी टू मूव सॉलिडिफाइड इंक्रीज इन चय अवस्था एंड लिक्विड इंक्रीज इन प्रकोप अवस्था कॉजेज ऑफ वाद प्रकोप वाद प्रकोप टेक्स प्लेस ड्यू टू इन टेक ऑफ फूड सब्सटेंसेस ऑफ कटु तिक्त कशायरस रुक्ष एंड लघु शीत द क्वालिटी एंड सप्रेशन ऑफ नेचुरल अर्जेज नाइट अवेकनिंग ग्रीफ एंड एंजाइटी एज ए साइकोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स एट द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ डे एंड नाइट इन कोल्ड एंड रेनी सीजन पित्त प्रकोप टेक्स प्लेस ड्यू टू इनटेक ऑफ कटु अम्ल लवण तीक्ष्ण उष्ण सब्सटेंसेस ओवर एग्जर्शन ड्यू टू एंगर एंड ड्यूरिंग द डाइजेशन ऑफ मील इन हॉट सीजन एंड इन ऑटम सीजन कफ प्रकोप टेक्स प्लेस ड्यू टू इनटेक ऑफ मधुर अम्ल एंड लवण रस इन एक्सेसिव क्वांटिटी शीत सब्सटेंसेस फूड आइटम्स मेड अप ऑफ पिस्ट मिल्क ड्यू टू अध्यशन डे टाइम स्लीपिंग लैक ऑफ एक्सरसाइज एंड एट द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ डे एंड नाइट इन स्प्रिंग सीजन टाइप ऑफ दोष प्रकोप वेन दोष रीचेज डायरेक्टली टू प्रकोप स्टेज Without passing through चय अवस्था it is अचय प्रकोप संचय प्रकोप means gradual increase of दोष It does not require any संशोधन चिकित्सा like वमन विरेचन संचय प्रकोप requires शोधन चिकित्सा but in शट क्रियाकाल 
the co-op estate should be limited to the estate of readiness of those to move from its own place. That means, those increases in its quality and ready to move but not moving. By observing this, we can say that due to continuous intake of those prakopak ahar, vihar, oshad, etc., the prakopak state of those will develop in which those vraddhi is in liquefied state. At its own place, which is of two types, chayapurvak prakop means wetting the prakop after accumulation. Here, sancha state must be compulsory. A chayapurvak prakop means getting overflow without prior accumulation. Some acharyas have used the another term for this as chayapurv prakop is the continuable solidified increase and a pathyaj, whereas a chayapurvak stage is a pathyaj. Symptoms of dosh prakop Tisham prakopat post tod sancharnam amlika pipasa parida anna dvish hradeut kledas jayante tatradute kale. Vat prakop causes post tod sancharnam means breaking pain and movement of vat in abdominal region. Pitta prakop causes amlika, it is sore irritation. Paridaha is known as burning sensation all over the body. And pipasa means excessive thirst. Kaf prakop causes annadvesh means aversion to food. Radevut clade is excessive salivation in mouth. The term pressure means to spread in this stage. Vishated doshas spread over and extend to other parts, organs and systems of the body in all directions. Pressure may involve one, two or all the three doshas together along with rakt. These pressure are of 15 types in different combination of vat pit kaf along with rak. In this stage, the vitiated doshas continuously spread outside of their normal sides unless the causative agent is treated. However, failing to treat causative factors at this stage can lead to irreversible pathogenesis. In pressure stage, diagnosis can be made with the help of clinical involvement. Acharya Chakrapani has very clearly specified the prasaravastha for easy understanding by giving an example that is, if solution of flour of rice added with least till is and kept undisturbed overnight and it undergoes fermentation and by the next morning it is seen spilling out of the vessels. Similarly, the doshas spread out of their own special seeds and occupy the seeds of other doshas also during this Features of Vat Pressure Pimar Gamana means regurgitation, ato, flatulence and gurgling. Features of Pit Pressure Osh that is burning sensation accompanied with sweating and restlessness. Chosh painful sucking sensation, paridha burning sensation around the part involved. Dhumayan feeling of movement of hot fumes inside head, neck, throat and palate. Features of cup pressure are Aruchak, Abhipak and Angsad. Aruchak means anorexia, Abhipak means indigestion, Angsad, inertness in limb, Chardi means vomiting. Isthan Sanchre, the stage of localization. Kupita nami dosha nam sharire paridhaptam yatra sankha vagunyan vyadis tatro jayate. Isthan Sanchre, or the disbursement of doshas at a particular place occurs when vitiated doshas are circulating and settles in areas of srotovagunya means where there is depletion of tissues. The rust gets localized at the place wherever morbidity in rust carrying channels is present and produces morbidity or disease at the same place just like the cloud being obstructed starts raining at that very place. The doshas also get aggravated at the place wherever get localized or trapped. Khavagunya or due to absence of morbidity or faults of srotas, the rust gets obstructed at the place where srotas is abnormal and manifests the morbidities based in rust. As rust produces the diseases at the place of obstruction in srotas, similarly, those also produces diseases at the site wherever those are obstructed. It is said in Sushu that the aggravated doshas circulating in entire body gets localized at the place wherever the srotas is abnormal and produce the disease 
at that site. In this stage, Dosh Dushya Samurchana, that is involvement between Dosh and Dushya takes place at the site of Sroto Vagunne. In this stage, all the prodromal symptoms of diseases appear. So, this stage is called as the Purvuruk of disease. Chakrapani commenting on Sushru Sutra 21 verse 37 mentioned that Isthan Sanshrayati Dusha Dushya Sanshraya Further Chakrapani mentioned that Purva Rupa Mev Isthan Sanshraya Lingam means Purva Rupa is the manifestation of Isthan Sanshraya stage. In this stage all the prodromal symptoms of disease appear. So this stage is called the Purva Rupa of diseases. The sign and symptoms produced in this stage are on the basis of sites where those Dushya Samurchana takes place. Symptoms manifested during Sthan Sanshraya Vastha those which are aggravated and spreading out now become localized in places and produce diseases in such places. In Udar, it causes Gulm, Vidradi, Udar Ro, Anaha. In Vasti, it causes Brahmeh, Ashmari. In Medhu, it causes Uddan. If a sun sunset takes place in Udhatrugat, Part, it causes diseases above the clavicle region. In Asti, it causes Vidrati. In Pad, it causes Shlipa than Shonivar. Vyakti is the state of manifestation. It is clear manifestation of symptoms in disease like swelling, malignant tumor, benign tumor, abscess, erysipel, and such other external diseases, and also in fever, diarrhea, and such other internal diseases. If the causative factors present in Isthan Sanshraya are not treated and continue, Dosh enters into Vyakti stage, in which all the symptoms of a disease appear. Disease depends upon the vitiation of a particular Dosh and the interaction of particular Dhatu, that is body tissues. The symptoms that appear at this stage are used by medical professionals to examine and diagnose the disease, which helps in developing a treatment plan. Chakrapani on commenting Sushu Sut 21 verse 33 has mentioned Pravyakti Lakshanata Vyadinam Vyakti Ritiartha. Bhed is the stage of complication. It is the most advanced and last stage of Kriyakal where the progression of a disease reaches an end. However, in Bhed stage, the survival rate is generally decreased. In this stage, development of complications and becomes itself the cause for other diseases. Now question arises, why the knowledge of Kriyakal is important? Sushrut has mentioned, Sanchaya Pratha Dusha Labante Na Uttara Gati Te Tu Uttara Su Gati Shu Bhavanti Balvattara Dusha, if eliminated during the Sanchaya stage, do not undergo further stage, otherwise in the successive stage, they become powerful. It is important to decide the prognosis, whether the disease is curable or not. It is necessary to decide the appropriate time for the management. As treatment done earlier to proper time or treatment not done at proper time and either inadequate may result in bad prognosis of even curable disease. Common measures for the maintenance of homeostasis at different stages. In first three stages of Kriyakal, lifestyle and dietary modification should be advised. In Prasaravastha, treatment should be done according to sthanic dosh, like if the vat encroaches in pith sthan, pith should be managed, if pith encroaches kaf sthan, kaf should be managed, if kaf encroaches in vat sthan, vat should be managed. In last three stages, treatment according to disease, the science, shodhan, shaman, shastikista, palliative measure should be done. Kriyakal can be understood in view of contemporary science. Sanche and Prakop may be considered as stage of susceptibility, pre-pathogenesis, epidemiological triad. Prasar and Sthan Sanche may be considered as stage of pre-symptomatic disease. Vyakti may be considered as a stage of clinical manifestation. Ved is the stage of complication or diminished capacity. We can understand 
Kriyakal in view of contemporary science in case of diabetes mellitus. Predisposing factors like genetic presence of diseases like obesity, PCOD may be considered under Sanchez. Augmented hepatic glucose production, decreased insulin mediated glucose transport, impaired beta cell function may be considered under Procopistase. Hyperlipidemia, hypercholesteremia, impaired renal functions, increased various cytokines like leptin, adiponectin means disease has reached in a pressor stage. Impaired insulin mediated glucose transport, insulin resistant, impaired blood glucose level may be considered under sthan sensory stage. Polyuria, polydipsia, polyphagy are the three important features of the VFT stage. Diabetic retinopathy, nephropathy, diabetic ketoacidosis, multiple organ failure, heart stroke may be considered as a stage of complication or stage of Kriyakal, six stages may be understood in case of bronchial asthma. In Sanchez stage, increased leakiness of tight junction. In Procope stage, increased sensitiveness of bronchial epithelium. Pressure means mast cell degranulation. In Sthan Sanchez, release of inflammatory mediators. In Vyak stage, breathlessness, wheezing, coughing, diurnal variation in PE, PEF. And in complication or bed stage, there is nocturnal symptoms, needs relief treatment for more than twice a week, respiratory arrest, deterioration of lung function, drowsiness, coma, exhaustion, formation of Kurtzman spiral, charcoal-laden crystals. A recent paper published in GIM titled Ayurvedic Concept of Satya Kal has reported six stages in cancer cases. Sanchya may represent the level of oxidative stress. Procope stage has unusual cell proliferation due to oxidative stress. The stage of pressure can be correlated with the cell migration as oxidative stress can augment tumor growth and metastasis. Sthan Sanchya may be correlated with malignant progression, invasion and settling of cancer into a distant organ. In the stage of Vyakti or manifestation, cancers cause symptoms. The stage of Bhed or complication is the final stage which confirms the type of cancer. This diagram showing the hypothetical model of Sthan Satkirya Kal to assess cancer predisposition, diagnosis and treatment. This figure is showing the six stages of Kriya Kal in case of stress situation. There are different types of stressor in the body and mind and individual is exposed to this stress in mind, vitiation of rajantha and in body, vitiation of dosh ultimately triggers the vatpitka dosh and causes the features of vatadi dosh and produce the stage of sanche and prakop. This may be considered as alarm reaction. If individual is further exposed to stress or due to genetic predisposition, those get localized in the body tissues and organs which is susceptible to vitiation. This is the stage of pressure and sthan sensory. This may be considered as a resistance phase. If individual is not treated, then development of disease, complication or may lead to death. This may be the stage of vyakti and bhed. It may be also considered as a exhaustion phase. Based on this discussion, we may conclude that the magnitude of illness and clinical presentation vary because each person has different patterns of exposure to the pathogens and dynamic changes in the functioning of tattoos. If doshas are at the first stage, a simple line of treatment can prevent the condition from progressing to the next stage in the manifestation. The different stages of Kriya Kal gives insight regarding the different state of dosha. It also provides understanding regarding when and what kind of measures should be adopted for appropriate management of diseases. Adoption of these measures avoids the bad prognosis of disease. It is very essential for early diagnosis and prognosis. Out of six Kriya Kal, first three Sanjay Prakop and Pressure are subclinical stages, while the last three Sthan Sanjay, Vyakti and Bhed are the clinical stages of the pathogenesis. Shatkirya Kal permit the Ayurvedic practitioner 
to detect and treat illness at the earliest stages long before permanent damage is done. Validation of Shatkirjakal model may be a great achievement in the field of medicine. Thanks to all.